Hey everyone! What's good? Silver Hyena here today. And what we will be doing is making a lovely citrus pie. Mmm. And the reason why I call it citrus is because we don't just use lemons and we don't just use limes, we use them both. Now, originally this was a lemon meringue pie recipe that we altered by accident because one, one time we ran out of lemons and just threw in lime juice as a substitute and discovered that we liked it even better. So that's how this came to be about. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first order of business, you take your citrus, you put it in a microwave safe plate. Now then it might sound a bit weird microwaving your citrus, but it actually helps the juices. It, it makes them juicier. So you just pop these bad boys. It's harder to do this with only two hands. As you all know, this is low budget. No budget. <laughs> and just Throw them in there for 15-20 seconds. Alrighty, it is the next day, that's why I'm dressed different, go figure. Anyways, we're going to construct a wonderful citrus pie. Okay, so you want to separate three eggs which this is kind of messy, so. Mm. Although I suppose any of you people who enjoy playing with uh, slime would probably love this part. Because it's like nature slime. You want to slightly beat the egg yolks and it is very important that you do not get any egg yolk in the whites because you want to keep these as separate as possible because this is for the pie filling this is for the meringue so you do not want scrambled eggs in your meringue in fact you don't want scrambled eggs period and I'll show you how to ensure that doesn't happen non-metal saucepan and it is very important you do not use metal anything with citrus metal and citrus do not get along so get yourself a good glass baking dish wooden spoon this is my preference but just if it's got metal anywhere near it no just just no anyways we want a cup of sugar or sugar substitute. I'm using a sugar substitute because we have diabetics in the house and this is just more diabetic friendly this way. However, you can use any sort of sugar you want or sugar substitute as long as it measures like sugar. Next up is a fourth cup of flour. I generally find it's easier to put all of the dry ingredients first and then worry about the wet. Alright, so up next what you want is four tablespoons of corn starch. Now I had already put one in before the camera started rolling, which is why you've only seen me put in three, but you want to put in four evened out tablespoons of cornstarch. Now what this does is it helps thicken everything up so that way you don't have a sloppy mess when you cut a piece of the finished pie. And ain't nobody got time for a sloppy mess. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Now while this may sound really weird, you want to add a little bit of salt to your sweets. Trust me, you'll notice a difference. Add the wet. You want to just Give this a 
bit of a stir. Oh. Hey, when you're baking, cooking, messes are inevitable. It's time for the introduction of the wet ingredients. You want one cup of water. Mix that in there. And then you want a cup of lemon juice. Oh my gosh, that was almost exact. Almost exactly a cup. However, if you don't have quiet enough, there's a solution. Just get yourself some of that pre-bottled lemon juice to augment any that you missed. It's simple. There we go. One cup of lemon juice. Easy. Some of the overhead noise, but I'm about to be heating this up. So gotta have that ventilation going. And you wanna warm it up over medium heat until it is transparent. And you wanna be mixing because, well, you don't want everything you've worked so hard for to, to scorch on the bottom. I mean, that that's just sad. And while you're at it, try to get as many of those nasty little flower lumps and sugar lumps out as you can, or Splenda lumps, whatever kind of sweetener you decide to use. Now, some of you might have noticed, wait a minute, I saw you squeeze in that lime. Where's the lime? Don't worry, the lime is coming. I, I promise you. All right, as you can see, it's starting to thicken up. This is exactly what's supposed to happen. Look at that. Okay, it is ready for the eggs. So what you wanna do, add a bit in there. Then you wanna stir. Okay, yeah, thankfully I have some help behind the scenes because pan was just sliding around everywhere. It's like whenever you start filming things like this, it, it's like something wants to go wrong. So once you get the eggs in there, you just want to cook it about a minute longer. So we're almost good. I mean, like, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is... All right, now that the filling is almost complete, you want to add one tablespoon of butter. Get that melted in there. Now comes your lime juice. I told you he'd be coming back. I'm gonna get that all mixed up in there. A little bit of extra citrusy goodness. I turned off the burner, but it's still warm, so it's like that was refrigerated lime juice, so just warm it up a little. And the last thing you want to add, some zest, some yummy citrus zest. Alright, now that your mixture is ready, pull it and pour it into your pre-made pie crust, or if you want to make your own, go right ahead. I won't stop you. However, I figure that you put enough work into the filling. I'm going to get lazy on the crust myself, but if you like homemade pie crusts, knock yourself out. Have fun doing it. Now, you might notice that I'm not using a spatula to get all this out, and there's a reason for Oh, is there a reason for that? So then, after you smooth everything out, look at that. That is glorious. That is beautiful. 
but we're not done yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Alrighty. So this is why we didn't put it all in there. Because when you're the cook, you get the first taste. Careful, this is like lava right now. Mm. Just eating it like this is so good. Mm. This will ruin store-bought pies for you. And I'm not sorry about it either. All right, it's time to get to, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Getting a little overexcited there, it's all that citrus. It actually tastes like citrus, not like something that might have been near citrus at some point. But, mm. 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 gotta get to the meringue next. Stick around. Alright, now it is time to do the meringue. So you want your electric mixer and those egg whites we've been neglecting for a while. It's time to beat them into soft peaks. Alright, once your arm no longer feels like it's about to fall off, you want to gently dollop your meringue. You want to start with the edges of the pie and then go to the middle. This is a very delicate art. As I stated before, Mering is very temperamental. Try to get to the edges there. Once this like pieces of crust will stick to it. I keep telling it, no! You're ruining my beautiful look. Yeah, for this, you do want a spatula to get everything because um, I wouldn't recommend licking the bowl on this one because, well, these eggs are still raw. And also, you might have noticed that I was using real sugar and not Splenda for this. That is because since meringue is just so temperamental and fussy, you're better off using real sugar. I don't know what a sugar substitute will do. Uh, however, if any of you want to test that out and report back to me, I would love to hear what you have to say. All right. Once you have your meringue distributed over the pie, then what I like to do is go in with a butter knife some kind of spikes. Well, usually this works. It doesn't want to work this time because I'm, I'm filming. But it's like you can just do it all flat, but I like to give it some, some texture. It just makes things more interesting. Oh my god. My arm is shaking really, really bad because it's that beater. It's like residual energy is like causing my arm to shake or something. So 
some of you might just consider being really lazy and using an electric or not no, I was using an electric one use the one of those stand mixers that all you do is push a button and let it go <laughs> there we go I mean like yeah some people might prefer it all smooth but I feel like this gives the pie more, even more personality make it all spiky and interesting. Meanwhile, mom's standing out around here off camera probably wondering what I've done to her pie recipe. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop that sacrilege! Okay, that'll work. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna just pop this bad boy into the oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees for around five minutes to let the meringue cook. So pop that right in there. Bake it for five minutes and you just let it go. Now then you can use a toaster oven or you can also just use a regular convent uh, a regular oven. I almost said confection oven. <laughs> As if we have a specific oven for confections. <sighs> I, I, I can't think straight today. That, that, that mixer is still rattling my brain. <laughs> want this glorious thing falling on the floor that would be travesty look at it it's beautiful now comes the hard part waiting for it to cool while it's sitting there looking fabulous and winking you in the face alrighty the pie is ready Time to cut that first all-important piece. Mmm. So, so good. I mean, like, you know, you put a lot of work into it. You should be able to enjoy it. Oh, whoa. It's already wanting to fall apart. <laughs> Silly thing, don't do that to me. Well, the first piece is always going to be a bit of a mess. Just look at that. Mm. Yeah, some of the crust didn't want to stay put. Come back your crust. Eh, that'll be fine. Mm. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Eh, get back your meringue. Now it's time for the quality control. That is just amazing. Mm. It's citrusy and lemony. And for those of you who don't like sweets that are overly sweet, this is the recipe for you. I will have the recipe in the description below so that you guys can try this out for yourself. And if you do, please let me know what you think. Because mm, this, it's been a staple of my family for years. This, absolutely divine. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as stated before, if you try this recipe out for yourself, I want to know what you guys think because it's one of my favorites. And there's not even any chocolate in it. And, I, and it's one of my absolute favorites. So, with that being said, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!